Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And the other day, somebody asked a question in the ClickFunnels group, and they said, how can I... Uh, basically what they were looking to do was dynamically set a link where somebody would go to after you click on the submit button. So you know inside of ClickFunnels, and I'll show it to you in a second if you don't know it, um, you can put in an on submit go to, and you would go somewhere other than the next funnel step. Well, what they were looking to do was to be able to dynamically populate where somebody went to. So they would have gone through a survey or some other way of determining. And then let's say there was five different outcomes. You could have five different pages you might want to send them to. And so the, most of the people said, yeah, it can't be done. Or there's a couple of people who uh, said, oh, yeah, I'll write the code for you. And I had already had the code. I tested it in the past. I tested it again. It didn't really work right. So I played around with it a little bit more. And I got it working. So basically how it works is somebody comes in and they put in their email address. And then we say uh, click to sign up. And in this case here, it's now going to take us to the Fox News or Fox Sports page right here. And so uh, let me show you how I have this set up to begin with. So let's go into the page itself. And you're going to see right down here how I had that set is there's another page after this, or I should say another funnel step after this one. And that's very important. So we're going to go here to settings. We're going to go to general. And you see right here, this is just the generic uh, placeholder text right there. And otherwise, all I did is I put in this element and I put in the button to submit the page when it's done. And again, let's bounce back out of here for a second. And what I found is this only works is if the page that you are doing this on is not the last page in the funnel. So if it is going to be the last page in your funnel for some reason, just put in any page after it here. This just needs to have a page here. So I'm not quite sure why. Um, if I looked at the code hard enough, I could maybe figure it out. But it definitely needs another page right there. And then uh, let me show you what we had over here. So now let me refresh this page and we should have a contact that came in here. And I had to pause for a second and run it back through again uh, one more time because the one that I was looking for was actually down here a few. So um, here's the one that we just did right now with a two appended to the beginning of it. So our two test right there. So here it is. It came through. So we know then that it does save the information to the contact database. And again, when you're setting this up, um, in order to be able to submit something, you have to have an email address and a button set to submit. So like I said, normally it would go to one of two places. It would either go to the next funnel step or it would go to this right here. But by putting that next funnel step at the bottom, we can use a little bit of code to tell it to go somewhere else after it is done doing the saving. And that code is pretty simple. And this is the uh, most important part of the code right there. And what we're saying is um, on hashtag CFAR, so our selector is a as an ID of CFAR, we're saying that when that form is submitted, we want to run a function. And you're going, okay, well, where is this CFAR form? Well, you probably didn't know it was on the page, but it's on every single ClickFunnels page and it's right down here. You see, you got form, target equals parent, et cetera, et cetera. And then we got ID right here of CFAR. And we can say display, it says display none at the bottom. We can turn that off. And all of a sudden, this form is on the page right here. And that is on every single page inside of ClickFunnels. And here, again, is our email address matching what we have right there. And then the submit is actually right here. So when somebody clicks this submit button, what happens through the code is it actually clicks on this submit button and submits this form that we have right there. So you have this form that all these fields can get filled into. When somebody clicks this button, it actually clicks this button and it submits all of the information in that form to the ClickFunnels database. And so that's what we're doing here is we're saying, okay, when somebody clicks on that form down there uh, to submit it, so when somebody clicks on it to submit it, we wanna run a function and our function is very simple, we need to set a timeout period for one second. So that gives it enough time to be able to grab all that content, grab your email address and anything else you might have in there, gives it enough time to grab all that, store it into the database, 
And then what we're going to say here is we want to say window.open. And in our case here, we're going to that Fox Sports page. And the underscore self, that means open it up in the same tab that you are currently in. If you did blank, it would open up in a new tab. In this case here, we want to open up in the same tab. So that's it in order to make this happen. Now, the question is, why would this guy want to do this? Well, the reason why is he may want to be able to send people to different places. So I set up a little, um, a, an array up here at the top of five different addresses that you could go to. So code above this would say, okay, well, let's say they took the survey and they got between one and 10 points in the survey. Well, we're going to give them the value of, of zero. If they got between 10 and 20, we're going to give them the value of one, two, three, four. And the reason why I'm doing zero, one, two, three, four is because in this array right here, it's in jQuery and jQuery uses zero based indexing. So it looks at this as number zero and this here as number one or index of one. And this is index of two, three, and four. So if we come down here and we pull out this bit of code, we can copy that and we're going to take out everything, including the quotes around where it said Fox News, because now we're putting in a variable here because it's set as a variable and we're saying uh, redirect page of one. And so then we can save this and we can come back to our page again here and let's reload the page. Now, in this case here, let's put in number three and we will click on and save it. So it'll save the information to the database. And we must not have refreshed the page. So let's go back here. Let's save this again because redirect page one should bring us to Google. So let's go to preview here and let's see here. Let's put our three back in. We might get two threes now in the database. And now we go to Google. So it hadn't hidden, had not refreshed on this last one. Let's come back here. Let's reload this. And now we have three tests for 29 right there. And of course, we can come in and we can put in a different number. So let's just put in the number three. Let's save that and preview it. And so now let's put in a four and click to sign up. And where to send it to is sent us to Twitter. And that would be, let me see here, we got three. So we got zero, one, two, three is Twitter. So it sent us to exactly where we wanted to go. Now in this case here, we'd want to put in some sort of a variable in here. So we probably do something like, um, let's just say var of, uh, let's just say, um, let's just say score. Score, oops, let's see here, S-C-O-R-E equals two in this case here. Uh, because they, they got some sort of a score from doing whatever. So they got a score equal to two. So then down here, we can put in the word score. And that should now be a universal variable at this point. So let's save this. And so two would be Facebook. So let's see where we end up this time. And let's go to five and click on this. Oops, let's do it again. There we go. Submitting. And now here we go to Facebook. And if we come back here, let's reload this page. And we got number four. Let's reload the page again. And there we got number five. It takes a few seconds sometimes for that to come in. So we got our one, two, three, four, five right there for all the ones that we just went through. And that's how you do the code. And so you can actually on submit, send somebody anywhere you would like inside of, well, it would, could be anywhere. It could be a ClickFunnels page or it could be anywhere outside of ClickFunnels as well. So as always, if you've got any questions, let me know.